We are live. Hold on just a second, guys. I've lost things. There we go. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Gracie, Evelyn, Susan, Jane, Robin, Jeanette, Lynn, Linda, Maria, Roxanne, Janet, Kim, Wendy, Becky, Huntress Habits, Sherry, Joanne, Linda, Connie, Linda, Carla, Roz, Stacy, Nancy, Cindy, Betsy, Kathy, Melinda, Terry, Christy, Wanda, Diane, Lori, Bobby, Denise, Donna, Anita, Marie, Sally, Susie, Lynn, Maria, Tammy, Kathleen, Dawn, Kristen, and Judy. A huge thank you to my co-sponsors. You guys are awesome. Hi, guys. Okay, we have lots of things to talk about today. Yesterday, I did a video... Um, engraving the little bone uh go watch that video see how to enter i'm giving some of those away and i'm gonna i got my colored ones and these are just a tiny bit smaller but i think the same size thing will work um so i'm giving some of these away some of these away you'll have to watch that video from yesterday uh i'm also giving away the tools the new cricut maker tools um one housing the perforated housing with the tip and the other three housing. So you will have all of them to use on your Cricut Maker. If you don't have a Cricut Maker, you can save it if you're planning on ever getting a Cricut Maker, then you'll have them, or you can gift them to somebody who does have them. And there is a link in the description for a raffle copter. You only have to choose one of those things to enter. If you do all four of them, you will enter, get four entries. You guys, tomorrow the uh, dog tags end and Thursday the new tools end. It's only going to be like 24 hours. I'm going to do a live video on Thursday putting together some things with this that were in the mystery box. Like this thing. This needs a pretty ribbon on the top, don't you think? Uh, if you missed the digital mystery box, I released that video today, a couple hours ago. You can go watch that. You can purchase that. You have two weeks to get it. If you have premium access, you get it for only $14.99 for three cartridges and 10 fonts. And it has projects like this in it. Okay. And another thing, I um, was able to add another level on my YouTube membership. That new level is only 99 cents. You don't get any projects. You don't get any files. I have had so many people ask that they want my emojis. So um, let me put my emojis up here. If you see the chat in the video, that's coming from YouTube. And these emojis are only available if you join my YouTube membership. So you can use those special emojis. You get a badge next to your name. Oh, wait, I think I have this picture here. That's the loyalty badges. You start out with the little cricket head, then you grow antennas, and then you grow a body, and then arms, and then you get the cricket. And then after two years, you get a purple cricket. So um, the only perk you get in, the, in that level, and Joan, Miss Super Klutz, her name is Joan. I want to tell you, I had to name my levels. So I named them from what Joan calls everybody who watches my videos. She comes in the chat and talks with all of us. She calls us Melodyettes or Melodettes. I don't know, however you want to say it. So I named the first level Melodettes and the second level Golden Level Melodettes. So, um, let me show you really fast before we get to the cards. We're doing two cards today, and it's going to be quick. So here's the video. If you want to join the membership, it's 99 cents. And you can just do this one for 99 cents, and it shows you what you get. 
it has a little thing here more about the perks or you can do the gold level get a lot more perks and they also get all of my Cricut design space projects that I share so that one is $4.99 but if you, I know a lot of people are already supporting me in other places and they're already getting my projects I want them to be able to get my emojis at a low cost so it's only 99 cents and I don't even get all of that but then you get the emojis um, so there's that okay let's get back over here um, does anybody have any questions we are live on Facebook and YouTube and Twitch and I can see your chat so if you have questions please put them in all caps and I will try to answer them. So let's go over to the desk. Uh, people support this Sorry. channel. Um, it's all on. There we go. Okay. Have you guys seen this card? The link to this project is for everybody because I didn't design it. It's by Cricut. It's in the Make It Now projects or the Ready to Make projects. They call them now. To do this project, you do have to have the perforator tool the perforation tool um, so let me show you this one so it says I find you strangely and then you just rip this off oh that part didn't rip good appealing isn't that cute so cute Okay, so we're gonna put that together, but first we're gonna do the other card. And I made two files for this. So this one, I have the plants are drawn on there. This is a file I made for my supporters of $2 or more on Patreon and the $4.99 YouTube supporters. Um, you will get the project for this. These butterflies are in Cricut Access. They're my favorite butterflies. I use these a lot. So if you don't have access and you just purchase the butterfly for 99 cents, it's my most favorite butterfly. And I have some few options on this and I want you guys to tell me what, um, how you want me to do it. I'm gonna give you a few options you guys tell me. So I wanted to use the new debossing one too. So instead of writing, I used, this is the holographic craft board. It's white on the back. And I just turned all those plants into debossing images. I also debossed it on here. This is just Cricut poster board. It's not as pretty as this is this is so pretty and this is so pretty i thought heck this could this could be good as it is just fold up these little wings and that's so pretty so here's the card base it has a score in there Isn't that pretty? That's really pretty just as it is actually. That's so easy. You just hit make it with my projects. Um, but we're gonna put the butterflies together. On this one, I wanted to give you options. These, I also wanna say these cards, I didn't put anything on the inside. These cards are great to make ahead of time. Then when you need a quick card, you could just write on here or you could cut a piece of paper this size in Cricut Design Space and add writing to it and let the Cricut write it for you and then just glue it inside. But these, I made these because they would be good for sympathy cards. They could be get well cards. They could be happy birthday cards. Uh, thank you cards. Just because cards. Thanks for being my friend. Anything you can think of, I think these could be for that. Maybe not Christmas, <laughs> but I, I just think they're beautiful and they could be used for almost anything. And they're really easy. Oh, and as I was doing this, I was thinking, 
we're gonna put the butterflies together, but uh, where's this one? Got the smallest one, I think. This would be. Oh no, this is the middle one. I think it'd look prettier. I used black glitter paper. You see some of the glitter on there? I use glad. Oh, I can't speak. Black. Let me show you on this camera. Glitter paper, but I think this would be pretty with white glitter paper. See the glitter? I think this would be pretty with white glitter paper and then just glued on it as it is. But, so here's, here's some of the layers I did and I wanna show you on this one, when I put the butterflies on, I only glued the center down of each layer. See, there's the card. And then I had them so the wings go up. So you can have it like that. Can you see the side of the card? Judy's asking, poster board or craft board? So this one is holographic craft board. This one is just poster board. I think this one's prettier. Holographic everything is prettier to me. Okay, so this butterfly, I glued it all together and I also went around the edge. I wanted to show you the difference on the edge. Let me see if you can see better here. So one, edge on here I used a black sharpie is all I used and colored the wing black but I didn't over here so you can see the difference see the black side and the non-black side I think it looks better with it black it looks like one piece instead of layers but, I mean, it's just up to you, whatever look you want to do. Um, and I'm using art glitter glue that I use in all my projects. So I'm going to go ahead and finish coloring in this edge. I'm just using, this is just a Shin Han. It's just an alcohol marker. It's one I've had for years and years and years. And I'm just gonna, I just color the edge. I also colored the edge with green on the side of this green piece. It's a solid core, but it, I just thought it looks darker or it looks better with it darker. I'm not gonna do this on all of them because that will take time. And I don't wanna take your time just coloring the edges. But I know some of you are afraid to do paper projects. These are so easy. And it color the side as well. Now, I will also tell you, this pink part of the butterfly is the back, but I don't think I'm gonna use it on this card. It's just a tiny outline on the, and it's the exact same size as the cutout of the butterfly here. But I don't think I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one on. And I'm just going to glue the middle. Okay, and I, this is harder to glue onto. So just let it dry. It doesn't dry as quickly. But isn't that cute? And can bend these wings up. So 
So that will sit on the card like that. Is that pretty? Okay, so let's put another one together. Oh, and I'm gonna give you some tips on how to put these together. Don't start with the bottom layer and put it on here. You wanna start with the top layer, and I'll tell you why in a minute. We're gonna add glue to this. Try to get it around the edges as much as you can. It's really tiny pieces of glue. And of course, you have to turn this over and glue this piece, otherwise you're gonna have it coming out the holes. And then when you put this on, with this glue, you have a little room, time to move it. I'm gonna hold it like this and just make sure it completely covers that orange and that we can see the spots through it. So I like to pinch the edges like this to make them all even. Kind of like when you have a stack of paper and you, you, know, you make sure it's all straight and even. You do the same thing with your paper piecing. Now you could just do this too. You could just use this layer and stick on there if you want to. You don't have to do all of these pieces. And, okay, so the yellow one is next. So to put it on the yellow one, we're going to put glue on the back of the orange. Get it all lined up. And then we can just glue this one down. Did you see how quick that went? Oh wait, that's the wrong one. There. Now I'm not using the pink ones on this one. We're gonna glue. Turn the top layer over, add glue. And to be honest, Cricut glitter paper cuts out better, more intricate than the uh, cardstock. I've had trouble cutting this butterfly out really small because it's so intricate out of the cardstock, but the glitter cardstock cuts out beautifully. It's much easier. And you can see the white where I got the glue. That's okay. It dries clear. You don't see it on these. And I did when I was putting it together. Okay, now we're gonna turn this over and put glue on here. There is really nothing to this. And these are the same either way, except for the glitter one is only one-sided. And we're gonna put glue here. I'm gonna bend it a little. And you put it on so it's facing the same way. I'm also gonna bend up these pieces. Now I could glue this to the back pieces. And now all we have to do is put glue 
on here. Okay, the card is done, except for uh, if there's anything you want to put on the inside. Is that pretty? And you could use glitter paper for the orange and yellow or do any colors or do holographic butterflies. You could, there's more colors. In the holographic pack, you get five colors. Oh, and it would have been pretty to make the butterflies out of those. Let me show you real fast. I didn't even think of that until just now. Okay, look at these colors you get. This is the bluish one. Orange, yellow, and pink. So in the pack of holographic craft board, you get all these colors. You get five of each color, I think. So you get a lot. And it debosses beautifully if you have the deboss tool. I don't know about writing on this. If you're gonna write, you might wanna just use cardstock like I did here. Okay, now let's do the banana card. We're gonna put this together. Comes like this. We're gonna glue the brown part of the banana on the inside because that is for this part. We're just gonna line that up there. It's kind of just so easy. This is just a fun card to give you to, to your significant other for no reason at all. Don't you think? It's fun to make. Oh, get it in there. I didn't do it very well. I did the first one really easy. Okay, I think that will work. So you put that in there. And now we have to line this up with this. So what I'm gonna do is put glue on here and then line it up so I can see the letters through it. So I'm gonna put glue, oh wait a minute, that's not right. That goes on top. Oh, Melody. This was so easy, I didn't even think about it. Uh, doing it before it just all I just did it when I'm doing live videos I'm more careful and I think too much so you just put it on top there and then you just glue this shut Now this is already set to cut with a perforation and then just a little, it just has a little cut here um, that you pull off. And then we're just gonna glue this on top. But make sure you do not put any glue inside where the perforation is. So you can do it over here and then just on the outside edge and probably more through here. Uh, 
and we're going to put it right on top of this yellow. And then we're going to add sunglasses because the sunglasses really make the whole project. You just glue those right on top. Told you guys about the giveaway, right? If you want to win the tools. And then just glue those on. Isn't that cute? I'm not going to peel this one off yet. I peeled this one off. And I'm wondering if this didn't peel right because they had too much glue over here. I don't know. But isn't it so cute? It's just a cute, fun card, I think. And then these cards that can be used for just about anything. Um, are you asking how I made the tab thing on this card? If you're asking that, I didn't do it. Cricut did it. Yes, the perforation tool is only for the maker. Uh, the tab that I used on some of my other cards that I made for the perforation are in past videos. And that tab I just made out of shapes and did some slicing and welding. Oh, I'm so glad, Princess Peach. She says, yes, the giveaway. I've never been actually so excited for a giveaway. All right, that's it, guys. And we're doing a video, 3 o'clock Thursday, Eastern Time, and I will be announcing the winner of the tools. Uh, Mary is asking, but was it cut at a different time than the perf? Um, no, you can do all of that in the same project and design, the Cricut will stop and Design Space will tell you uh, which tool to put in next. So it might, I don't know if it, I think it does the perforation first. So it'll do the perforation when it's done doing all the perforation for the card, it will stop and tell you to put in the premium fine point blade. So then you put in the uh, other blade and then it cuts that part. Yeah, I'm getting my Lilac Cricut Maker Bundle and everything tomorrow from HSN. I purchased it and I will try to do an unboxing video. I don't know if it will be tomorrow or when it actually will be. I will try to do one tomorrow. Yeah, it tells you to switch to the cut blade. So then you just load in the next blade. Um, there are tools on, not tools, there is aluminum metal that you can engrave with. You can also use that for infusible ink. I don't know how yet, but uh, you can, and you can order those off Cricut.com. Princess Peach, if you click the link I shared in the description for that, it will tell you, it'll walk you right through doing it. You just, it tells you what materials to do. You choose your materials you're using and put it on the mat. I did do a video yesterday on engraving this and I did it from the very beginning. From designing it, knowing how to place it on the mat so it engraves on the correct spot and engraving it 
uh, to taking it off the mat. You got to see everything and I'm doing a giveaway in that video. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go, and I will see you possibly tomorrow. I don't know. depends on when I get it, and I will see you for sure on Thursday. Uh, yeah, I will do a video on the new Mosaic Iron-On, not this week, um, but I will. Yeah, and if you didn't see the video for the digital mystery box, go check that out. It's a great price. All right, guys, I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.